few years ago when i did my graduation in the us we were required to select a country to spend some time and i chose italy i was always fascinated by italy as a country it had a very rich cultural heritage my mother is here it's a very closely family knit culture as well uh, i went with my professor there on the beach and i told him how amazing is it is that that rome and greece are the both places of western civilization today and i was kind of marveling at the jewels of italy's rich heritage and he stopped me the professor and said you know anand your country is thousands of years older than us and its richness is second to none so go back to your own country and sing the praises of india rather than the west and in a patriotic impulse i decided that i wanted to go back to india and in some way or the other participate in its growth story and perhaps even contribute to it today if you look for any person the single largest and most important investment is a house and i am very very pleased to say that today in india we will be the largest nbfc in affordable housing in the country and over 600000 homes for people in the 15 to 18 lakh segment we would have made the important dream of owning a house into reality when i look at my father's own journey he inherited at the time of the datta saman strike a bankrupt textile a company and of course with hard work but really with the help of banks he was able to build a great company and a great life because of that and if you look at the 80 million smes in this country only 3 4 million of them have access to formal financing and with everything happening reforms like gst uh, india stack and the economy growing there's a opportunity to increase this number substantially in the next few years while doing doing good is important doing well is important too my mother is a doctor and my father a businessman and they used to have this impact of who's making a greater impact i have this argument and both have played an important role in my thinking and life certainly in financial services is a industry where there really is an opportunity to create a large scale business if you believe in the india growth story you have to believe in financial services in emerging markets and you all cover it so you know this more than me that the sector grows at one and a half times that of real gdp so if you take our 7 8 and add 3 4% for inflation uh, then one and a half times that is the growth of the sector my father spoke about the amazing transformation we have done in the last few years and at 2018 it was very important for us the first step of transformation is to really build a strong team i met jeram 5 6 years ago one of my mentors shikha sharma had introduced me to him and what i liked about jeram is that he was a great combination of technology analytics and building a business after graduating from iit iim he spent 8 years in the us at capital one which was one of the most progressive technologically oriented banks in the us 
He then came back to India, set up the analytics function at ICICI and built at a young age the retail business at Axis before he became its CFO where he learnt about risk and every other part of the business. We, the next important member of our team is Rupen. Rupen I have known for over 20 years. We went to college together. He knows all my dark secrets, but I know many of his strengths too. He spent time in uh, Warburg Goldman, spent 13 years in KKR, and built a strong private equity business there. I got him involved to be a partner of mine and help me across the businesses. He is a tougher person than I am a no-nonsense person, and on the execution side, I wanted somebody to hold our teams accountable. Also, a very important priority over the next few years, we have, uh, my father spoke about the size of our balance sheet, and with the excess capital that we have, M&A will be an important priority in the next few years, which I'm sure he'll play an important role in as well. Yash was somebody who was in the wholesale real estate uh, business and in the industry, in an industry that went through a very, very tough time. Uh, when we studied everybody else, his, from that vintage, his book at KKR, and while KKR struggled on the corporate lending side, their real estate book had actually performed very well uh, in this crisis. He also spent eight, nine years at JP, uh, JP Morgan, which was, was probably the world's most respected financial services institution and risk processes systems are a very important part of the DNA of that business. Kalpesh, somebody uh, who has had a track record of over 20 years in investing. He worked at ICICI and then Apollo, for the last 11 years. And in credit and distress, the strategies that we are specializing in, there's almost, when I did a lot of references, almost everybody said that he was the best, if not one of the best guys in the country in this segment. Pankaj, who's building our life insurance business, uh, spent many years at HDFC, which is the most valuable life insurance business in the country, was the PNL head and of many segments uh, and was an important part of their senior team. Upma has spent many years at <clears throat> LNT Finance as the deputy CFO before working at Ujivan and also been at a bank, so knows all the systems, processes, and techniques to keep our very good team in line. We've also had a very good board. Uh, Kunal Bell, one of the pioneers of e-commerce in our country, Mr. Ramodarai, who built TCS, uh, help us. Technology is a very important part of the sector, and they help us a lot in our thinking. Nitin, the dean of HBS, was former dean of HBS before he became dean was perhaps my father's closest partner in building the pharma business, is advising us on many different points and worked a lot in the financial services space. Shikha has also played a very important role, built great businesses in ICICI and in, um, in uh, Axis and has been helping us on a weekly basis build this business in the future. Our priority in the next few years is to become a world-class retail-led NBFC. We want to focus on housing, but also be diversified. In housing, today I'm very pleased that at the time I joined the business in 2018, our wholesale retail mix was 100-0, and today, 
uh, today it is for the first time this year greater than 50 percent and we are about 55 45 retail wholesale and while the dhfl acquisition was a great foundation for us jeram and his team jagdeep sunit and others have today our organic business has been now greater than the dhfl book for the first time and we had about four and a half thousand employees today we are about 13,000 employees branches from 300 we have gone to about over 400 423 or so under his leadership and it's grown very well also we track risk very closely and in affordable housing and in the mortgage segment after a year and a half or so you're able to tell the behavioral direction of a particular book and I'm very pleased of the growth and on the risk metrics that we see in this business. While housing will be, we will be a dominant player in that today in terms will be the largest in terms of flow uh, and probably the second largest in terms of AUM, but we will, sh I'm sure in the next few months, be the largest both in flow and stock in housing. But we also felt it's important to be diversified because as we have seen sometimes, if housing does badly, then it's important in the segments of the budget customers of Bharat that we have other uh, diversification uh, too. Uh, we depend on capital markets with on all of you in our business, on many lenders. So to have a little bit of counter cyclic kill behavior in our business we find very very useful and Jeram will talk a little bit more about that business too. A very important part of our strategy is digital which I believe will be very very important in many many businesses in India. Physical is about our distribution 420 branches plus many of our microfinance branches. It's about for our army of 13,000 people. And these are still important, even in our digital world today. For instance, it in we, many of our customers are in areas in tier two, tier three cities, or in the outskirts of these cities, where the Gram Panchayat is more important than the municipal corporation. This kind of local knowledge is very, very important to be successful. Collections agent, what I've learned from my colleague Sunit, is that it's very important to knock on the door of a delinquent client at the right time. And if you knock on the door at the right time, almost certainly you will get, uh, you will get a very large proportion uh, paid. The, the digital part is also a very important part in the business. A lot of the underwriting that we do is using many, many variables. These are customers who are not salaried customers. And for instance, some of them in our microfinance business are even outside the tax net. So our sales staff take pictures and based on visual recognition technology, whether the customer has a bicycle, whether there's a goat in the photo, whether there's a hair condition, you're able to tell whether this customer is a good customer or not and whether he has the earning potential to be able to pay your loan. If we talk a little bit about the wholesale one business, I'm very pleased that after a few years, um, of flat AUM that when Yash came a year and a half ago from a book size of 43,000, we have brought this book down to 26,000, a reduction of 40%. And while we have taken a lot of provisions and accounted for the PNL, it's very important to actually recover and resolve these assets. And for the one or two assets that he has sold in cash, we have actually been able 
to even do it at a profit which gives me a lot of encouragement i believe also that this segment real estate financing in the future there is a opportunity after deep recession and in this segment and deep problems today we believe that the next 5 10 years there is a good opportunity for the business to grow there's more consolidation in developers it's a more regulated industry my father spoke about vera and i believe that in the next few years if we build a more granular business we build a business which is more vanilla construction finance than being too structured with also the competition vacating the business we know about the hdfc merger as well happening that there is a good opportunity to learn from the past and to build a strong robust business in the future keeping risk at the heart of it another part of our wholesale business is to build little bit diversification and in areas where we have deep understanding like financial services microfinance pharma we believe that we can build a small niche but important corporate lending business there are many things that banks can't do like mna financing bridge financing uh, some kind of opco lending which we believe will have a good opportunity as my father said we have a strong net worth of 31000 and our book size is about 65000 crores so we do have a lot of capital to invest in the future and my father in his uh, in his career has done over 70 acquisitions and 95% or so have been successful and just in case sometimes we wonder is he getting older he seems a little like jimmy anderson who only looks younger and does better deals as time goes on and the dhfl acquisition i believe that out of the 70 and we may not see it today but in 5 years will be his most successful acquisition and i think that all his experience in this will of doing acquisitions to doing them uh, quickly well but to do it in a disciplined way will hold us well in the future little bit about the business today we are about 56% retail and 44% wholesale the retail is like the cake and the wholesale business to me in the long run will be like the icing on the cake and the idea is to become a two third between two third and 70% retail and to have 30 35% of the wholesale a book retail gives us a lot of stability it gives us in times of crisis a very solid platform while wholesale gives us that little bit of higher returns and the icing that makes the overall cake a little sweeter um, the alternatives business under kalpesh's uh, leadership uh, i also wanted to say one more thing about the wholesale business that since i've come we've done now 5000 crores of loans in wholesale in the credit side if you take on wholesale real estate the corporate wholesale and we have a credit fund in alternatives and in the 5000 crores that we have invested there's not even been a single day of delay uh, in these loans in the business obviously the book is in early stage of curing and we'll monitor it closely but i feel cautiously optimistic about the future of also lending to businesses on the alternative side uh, kalpesh has uh, we've under his leadership deployed about a billion dollars and this today is tracking at a return of 23% uh, and we have in in the distress fund uh, and in our credit fund we are tracking at about a irr of 17% when our target was 14 15% we 
We have a partnership with Bain, which is a distress business, and Bain, in fact, wants to do more different uh, opportunities to partner with our group they have been exploring because of the success on this. And that same applies to CDPQ, which is the credit fund. And uh, in fact, both these two funds in Asia have been the top decile funds in the business that we are in. I believe the next few years, there's a great opportunity to build an alternative business. It will be a smaller business. It'll contribute maybe 10% of the PAT in the next five years, but it'll be a safer business. And these partnerships will be very, very important in a capital intensive business like financial services. Life insurance, when we had DHFL Primerica was a partnership between Prudential, one of the most respected companies in the West, uh, and DHFL. At its peak, it was the eighth, ninth largest life insurance company in India with a real expertise in defense. When we integrated DHFL out of the 22 uh, life insurance businesses, this was ranked 22. So when we took it over though, we realized that Prudential had run it pretty well and we got Pankaj, our CEO who from HDFC uh, and today on a small base, yeah, but it's still considered the fastest growing life insurance company and we think that there's a good opportunity to build this in the next few years. We still have some investments in Shriram in their general insurance, which is the largest part where KKR is an investor. We have an investment and in the life insurance business and in the brands and Rupen over the next, in the recent future, plans to monetize this. This is at cost in our balance sheet and hopefully there will be some upside here as well. When I look at the overall business, we are today 65,000 uh, crores uh, of AUM. We are 55, 45. In the next one year or so, we will become at our ideal two-third, one-third mix. We intend to grow the retail business by 23%, and our wholesale business will be flattish because we'll bring down the old book, but also build the new business um, in a robust manner. In the next five years, our plan is to reach a ROA of three, three and a half percent. This translates into a ROE of around 12 and a half percent, which with the acquisitions that we do will, will improve. We, um, we, we should make about four and a half thousand crores of profit in the next five years. While I say should, I want to be conservative and I can give you uh, my assurance that our team will work very hard night and day to make this happen. With that, I would like to invite Rupen to say a few words. Thank you. <laughs>